Good morning, everyone. This week's Torah portion begins with Moshe Rabbeinu gathering the Jewish people. On the very next day after he came down from Mount Sinai with the second set of tablets, having pleaded for forgiveness and been granted forgiveness for the sin of the golden calf. And our rabbis tell us that the day that Moses came down with the second set of tablets was Yom Kippur. And that's why it became the annual day of atonement and forgiveness for the Jewish people. Just as God forgave for the ultimate sin of the golden calf, in every generation God says, I love you, I am willing to forgive you. There's an amazing story that occurred in Israel in a courtroom that was reported by the chief judge whose name was Steve Lieber. Steve Lieber says he was sitting on a court with two other judges when in came an elderly man with a kippah and a young man and they presented their case and the case was that this man owned a stall in the shuk of Machane Yehuda and his name was Sadia and the young man's name was David. David was 24 years old and had worked for Sadia for eight years. And one day they got into a fight and Sadia fired him. And David came with his lawyer and he was claiming severance pay. Under Israeli law, you get one month's severance pay for each year that you worked. So he presented his stub that he got paid the monthly last check. And he said, I want eight months payment for the eight years of work. The judge turns to uh, Sadia, the owner of the stall in Machni Yehuda, and says, well, under the Israeli law, you have to pay him eight months salary. He says, he's not getting one shekel for me. He said, why not? He worked for you for eight years. He said, he's not getting a shekel from me, not a, not a grush. The judge said, well, is it a financial problem? He said, no, I own many, many stalls in Machni Yehuda. I even distribute wholesale fruits and vegetables to the other vendors, but he will not get a shekel. And once again, the judge says, you know, it's the law. You have to follow the law. He says, you could throw me in jail. He's not getting a shekel from me. Finally, the judge said, why? And he said, because I am known in the shuk as a vendor who takes in kids who are thrown out of their homes, who are on the streets, and I give them a job and I help them. David was 16 when his parents threw him out of the house. I gave him a job. I got him professional help. I got him counseling. I got him back into school. When he went to the army, whenever he got off of the weekends, I gave him a place to stay. I gave him a job on the weekends or on his days off. When he got married, who took him shopping to buy furniture and set up his apartment? Not his father, I did. Like a father, I took him. I bought him furniture. I did so much for him. And he spat me in the face. I got into a fight with him one day and he starts cursing me. I fired him immediately and I said, get out of here, don't ever come back. And I will not give him a shekel, not even a, 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 a grush. Steve Lieber, who is the judge, said, you know, that's in a very emotional story, but you know, the law is still the law. He says, I don't care. He spat in the plate that he ate from, he will not get a, a, a shekel from me. At this point, the judge didn't know what to do because he wanted to resolve it without a judgment. When one of the other judges passed the head judge, Steve Lieber, a note. He read the note and it said, Moses and the tablets. He's thinking, what does Moses ha and the tablets have to do with this? And then he realized, and he looked at Sadia, who was wearing a kippah, and he said, Sadia, do you study the Torah? And suddenly for the first time, Sadia smiled and said, Betach, of course. He says, do you know the story of Moses and God took Mo the Jews out of Egypt, performed 10 plagues for them, split the sea for them, brought them to Mount Sinai, gave them the Torah, and 40 days later, they made a golden calf. He says, of course I know that story. He says, God says, you know, these Jewish people, after everything I did for them, this is what they do. They spit me in the face and make a golden calf. But what does Moses do? Moses turns to God and says, God, they're your people. They're your children. Please take them back. Give them another chance. And what does God do? He says, fine, I'll take them back. And Steve Lieber looks at Sadia and he says, David's your child practically. You've taken care of him, you've raised him, you've done so much for him. You're like a father to him. Yeah, he spat you in the face, but do what God did. Take him back, give him a second chance. At that point, Sadia looks at David and he sees tears in his eyes. And Sadia looks at David and says, okay, I'll take him back. And David runs into Sadia's arms, they embrace, embrace in the courtroom and start crying on each other's shoulders. 
And David looks at Sadi and says, I couldn't sleep all night. I said, how am I going to go to court and testify against you and challenge you in court? I feel so sorry. I should have never done what I did. I love you. Thank you for taking me back. And Steve Lieber describes how Sadia and David put their hands over each other's shoulders and walked out of the courtroom lovingly. That's the story of the forgiveness of the golden calf. Someone once said, forgiveness is giving someone the space to become the type of person that would have never done that to you in the first place. God forgives us when we spat him in the face after everything he did for us. But God teaches us that yes, even when someone does that to you, you could still forgive. And that should teach us that even if someone hurt us, even if someone was ungrateful, and they maybe don't deserve to be forgiveness, love them and forgive them and take them back and give them a second chance. Have a wonderful day.